Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today it is the melting basket video for the month of August. And let me just say we have quite a few items to choose from. Um, in case you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know, I, will I know I'm not going to get through all of this. This is merely just me picking from my stash one time a month, filling these baskets up and I kind of determine them into like a section for like bathroom scents that I enjoy, bedroom scents that I enjoy, the overall uh, living room, great room feeling. Uh, what is a bathroom, living room, great room, bedroom, and also my office space has, I have like a separate little scent that I do for that. So with that being said, <laughs> this is a lot. I really did take a lot of what I had left for summer and I just basically threw it in. So you're gonna see a lot of Walmart waxes. So maybe if you're in the US, a lot of this was purchased in the United States and might be on sale now because I know that the fall lineup should be showing up shortly. So with that being said, if you can see these on sale, I can see a whole bunch of them right here. We can't get better homes and gardens here in Canada. So I stock up anytime in the States or my friends help me go shopping, those of my friends in the States. So let's get organizing these baskets into those fragrances. Okay, so I have them kind of grouped, not by their brand quite yet, but I just want to share with you guys. Um, the majority of my wax is for the great room area because it's my biggest space and I have three warmers in that space. So, ooh, let's see if I can push it all into frame here. There's a few more just at the very bottom here with my fingers there. So there's all of this right here is all for my great room. And for the bathroom, I have these different ones that I have. So there's quite a good amount of each of these band bags from Super Tarts. I got a Vintage Cheek Scents and a couple uh, Walmart waxes. Over here in the top corner, I'm gonna bring it forward. That is all my coffee scents that I like to melt on weekends. And to round it up, I have also my scents from the bedroom. So now I'm gonna organize them by brand, but I'm just gonna come back to you and we're gonna get right into this video and I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I pulled. Okay, we're gonna start off with some Super Tarts now, now that I've organized them by the brand. So we're gonna go through. Now, Super Tarts, if you're not familiar, I generally just buy these during their big sale. Once a year, it's the it's their Wax Wednesdays, they call it, so Wednesday before American Thanksgiving. Um, I'm noticing my stash is getting low, so I'm looking forward to, obviously, Wax Wednesday again, which will probably mean I won't get their wax until February because it is a pre-order. So, and it's normally when I order, I order a lot. So with that being said, I pulled out some favorites because my birthday month is August and I love to pull some of my favorites out for that month. This is Beauty and the Beast. This one here is Blackberry Sweetened Cereal, Marshmallows and Sugary Milk. It's one of my absolute top scents from any vendor of any category just one of the best. So I have that one. And then we have Alien and Casper. And this was like a blend that she decided to do um, not that long ago. So I'm gonna, it's really small writing and very light. So I'm gonna, please forgive me. Apple cider, vanilla bean, donuts, toasted marshmallow, vanilla bean, and oh, Noel, and cornbread with Mexican fried ice cream. So there's that one there. This one is Chrissy's Remains. So it's a blend of Jaws, which is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear. But then to make it Chrissy's Remains, they add the sponge sugar in that one. And then we have another combo that she did, similar to the one I just sort of spoke about just a moment ago, Grey's Anatomy and Fake and Bake. This is zucchini bread, sugar cookies, sweet cream, coffee, pecan pie, vanilla ice cream. So again, band bags also have about three regular size clam shells that you'll get from pretty much anywhere else. But the weight of three of these clamshells are in here in just various like sizes, shapes kind of thing. Mostly rectangular or, or uh, square, sorry. And then the last one I have from Super Tarts is Mystique. This is shaving cream and pink sugar. Love this one. All of these I have purchased before with the exception of these two here that I mentioned that were blends that she kind of just kind of created not that long ago. So I ordered those. So let's talk about some one-offs I have here. I have F Bum Bum <laughs> from The Bathing Garden. I don't have scent note descriptions, but it's supposed to smell like the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. So it's supposed to have like a pistachio, coconut, suntanning kind of vibes to it. So these are large cubes. Again, they're quite a bit 
larger than regular size cubes, but what I plan to do is cut these up into three pieces each. So this will last quite some time. So there was that one, but I also wanted to share with you a chopped up candle called pumpkin coconut. Yes, I decided to bring this forward because of the coconut. Now it's gonna lead me into the fall. So this is my melting basket for August. So I'm kind of hoping to dive into this towards the end of the month of August. And if I don't finish it, this will come back over in the month of September for that wax melt basket. So I really do enjoy this and I miss this candle dearly and I haven't seen it in so long. I will try to remember to place a card up here uh, showing you guys one of the ways that I do chop up my candles. This, is, this was a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. So anyway, um, there's that one there. And one other thing that is a one-off, thank you to Ramona, which is introducing me to Goose Creek's strawberry jam. And it's exactly exactly that it is a strawberry jam scent so um i only have one more after this and um yeah i'm gonna keep looking they don't deliver they don't ship to canada so again you need if you're canadian or internationally you'll have to have a friend in the u.s to help you out so anyway love this one and of course like i said my birthday month is august so i'm trying to melt some of my absolute favorite smells and scents that i absolutely adore in the month of august so up next we've got some zape now i have just a little bit of zape products left most of it's the autumnal type scents so i kind of pulled a bunch of things here and some of my absolute favorites of course are from this company and again like i mentioned already my birthday month is august and i really wanted to have some of my absolute favorite scents for August. So first off, we have a basic beach, and this one is described as coconut, vanilla, sea salt, and toasted marshmallow. Next, we have flat white, which is one of my favorite coffee scents from any vendor. And this is espresso and vanilla cream. And then we have my one of my absolute favorites, one of my top, like five probably, lavender soda. This is fresh lavender and citrus fizz. And this is, again, one of my absolute favorites from my, for the bedroom. Um, and I love to melt this for my birthday. So I'm gonna have to stock up more because I think I'm, that might be the last one, I can't remember. And if you hear a dog in the background, that'd be because I'm babysitting, we're looking after a dog and she's, you know, she just saw another dog outside and wants to go out and play. So uh, next up we have Cubano, which is tobacco, caramel, and pineapple. And the last item I have from Zape is Beach Bound, which is sunshine, tan lines, and beach vibes. So this is basically like a beautiful, like towel linen kind of smell. Mm, it smells so good. This is I've had this before. I've actually had a lot of these ones I've already mentioned. They're all repurchases for the most part. So next up, I just have a couple of Destination Wax. I realize I think I might almost, if not, I think I actually am completely done with uh, Destination Wax in the sense that I think I've, these are the last pieces I have of them. I think, I don't remember there being any in there when I pulled from my melting basket here. So some of these things were brought over from last month because I wasn't able to finish it. This is chai tea. Black tea, slightly spiced with cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, and splash of vanilla. Chai tea, you guys know, is one of my favorite drinks. Iced or hot, I'm all for it. This is coffee, just cocoa, kona, mocha. This is rich Kona coffee with chocolate, vanilla cream, coconut, and a bit of cardamom. All right, up next, I just have a couple items here from Rainbow Melts. Most of what I have from Rain left in my collection from Rainbow Melts is coffee. I am waiting the summer sips sampler. It should be mailed out soon, I hope. And anyway, we have Java he Heaven. This is black coffee, whipped cream, and cookie heaven. So um, I do love her samplers and her wax does very well in my home. So coffee bar, espresso, butterscotch bourbon. The last item is OCD, a mix of espresso, caramel coffee, vanilla hazelnut, and Starbucks. All right, so let's talk about some sensational, sensational, I can't even say it right. So um, I have a few sensationals here to share with you. Many are um, first time I've ever use these but uh, there are a couple here that i have melted before and love like fantasy land i did find this one in canada the canadian walmarts i was very happy to see that because at one point again we're we're so late to the game in canada we only get sensationals we don't get better homes and gardens which i'm not exactly sure why but whatever it sucks but at least i one of my favorites is fantasy land and i saw it and this is what i like to melt in the bedroom and another one I've had before is Pacific Coast Highway. Another great, I love this for the bathroom or the bedroom. It's a great scent, very fresh and airy. And also this one here is Blue Sky. Again, I like to use this one in the bathroom strictly, but it's like a really nice, like breezy, cottony, linen-y kind of breezy scent. So I guess Blue Sky is a good name for it. Um, now these last four, I don't believe I've ever had before. 
Fiji Fantasy. So as you can probably tell by the name, it's very tropical. And then we have mango cheesecake, which was quite delightful on cold. So I'm looking forward to melting that. Mango is one of my favorites to smell and to eat. Um, we have sunburst citrus squeeze the day. So we've got a lot of actually like grapefruits and oranges and lemons and things like that. So I think it's all kind of mixed together. And the last one from Sensational is, is Waikiki Paradise Coconut Milk and Watermelon. Interesting blend, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone really do that blend before. So for a company like Sensationalist to do that, I think it's great. So it's kind of nice to give us something different. Maybe it's a repackage, who knows, but I am looking forward to testing this one out. All right, so let's get back on the bandwagon when it comes to Walmart wax. We have a Better Homes and Gardens, but I do have quite a few more of these. Now, again, I'm reminding you that I'm never gonna get through all of this in one month, and I know that but I just like pull once and that's it. And whatever I don't melt this month, I will bring into September. So this is Amber and Rose, which is citrus berry, floral, amber, wood, vanilla, and sugar cane. That's this one here. Then we have berry lemonade and melon, which is lemon, berry, watermelon, and sugar cane, just sort of similar to what it states. And then we have Island Coconut Creamsicle, orange, mandarin, lemon zest, coconut fig, peach, Vanilla, sugar, and cream scents. And Hawaiian fruit, uh, Hawaiian fruit market, sorry. This is citrus, coconut, mango, papaya, guava, berry, tropical, sweet, and vanilla. There's a lot of vanilla mixed in a lot of these, isn't there? And we have lemon, raspberry donuts, lemon, raspberry, vanilla, sugar cane, donut, and vanilla bean. Red mango and then and nectarine, I should say too, but like I said, I love mango. You guys know that. <laughs> guava, lime, mandarin, mango, tangerine, and mandarin and guava. So this one is orange, candy mandarin, tangerine, island guava, papaya, mango, vanilla cream, flowering pink pineapple, sweet bergamot, tart lemon, pineapple blossom, green leaf osmanthus and hibiscus one of my classic favorites this is sugared lavender twist this is one of my absolute favorites i love this one love 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 top top since or it's a very it's like a top scent for me from better homes and gardens this is raspberries orange red fig pink sugar vanilla orchid lavender vanilla sugar then rose water and coconut milk this is sugared rose petals summer berries coconut milk vanilla and pistachio which I feel like is like the 2020, late 2022 and 2023 so far has been like pistachio heavy everywhere for everything as we probably know. Frosted pineapple cake, citrus, orange, pineapple, sugar cane, vanilla, buttercream and cupcake notes. And we have white peach mango. This is white peach, apricot, sweet orange, mandarin water, exotic mango, nectar, sugar cane and vanilla bean and champagne and sugared peach champagne lemon peel clementine peach pink grapefruit and pureed berries in tropical pina colada this is pineapple cream coconut sugared vanilla bean and cherry scent notes and then two of the larger ones again one of my absolute top favorites is the lavender lemonade lemon sugar pineapple water lavender melon and vanilla and the last one from better homes and gardens that is is the salted coconut and mahogany this is citrus herbal wood coconut and vanilla scents so that's all of my my better homes and gardens sorry and we've got one vendor left to talk about all right so then we have vintage chic scents that i have left to talk about and then we're done and that's quite the large basket so I brought this forward from last month because I didn't melt it and I just am lazy and it's about cutting these things. I know, I can't be the only one. This is Falling Rain Suds, which is fresh laundry blended with sweet spun sugar, falling rain and fluffy marshmallows. This one will get chopped up from the bathroom. Then we have this one here, which is Aunt Nellie's Espresso Cupcakes, Espresso Beans, Rich Vanilla Cupcakes, Zucchini Bread and Sugar Cookies. So this, of course, because it has coffee, will definitely be on my weekends. Then we have Billy Bossa Nova's Lemon Sugar Bunt Cake. This is Gooey Marshmallows Lemon Sugar Bunt Cake, Rich Vanilla Cupcakes Yellow Cake, and Rich Sugar Cookies. So yum, that sounds really good. And this one also came over, a couple of them did uh, from last one. Yabos, this is Blackberry Mango Champagne Toast. So again, similar to like lavender soda, love that kind of thing. Um, there's no lavender in this one, but I really enjoyed that one. 
And then let's go to this little two pack of leaves. This is what they call, what a glorious morning makes me sick. Campfire s'mores latte. So I figured it towards the end of August might be really good to use that one up. Um, you know, get ready for the fall. And then I have a little piece here. It's the Adams Family Zucchini Dried Apple Peels Allspice Fresh Clove Buds and Zucchini Bread. Again, want to hold on to that towards the end of August so then I can get myself ready for the fall scents. So then I have just two little pieces. Or, oh, well, not two. They're, little, not, they're not little, I should say. They're huge. <laughs> this is Breakfast at Tiffany's Almond Cream Cheese Croissant and Hot Coffee. And the last item is Bob's Hope at the Cafe, sweet strawberry rhubarb pie topped with chantilly cream, topped with extra strawberries. So yeah, that is everything, you guys. There's a lot of stuff. Let me see if I can pan you over to it. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, there's even more that you can't, you can barely see. There we go. <laughs> there's so much. Um, anyway, I, again, I will not melt through all of this, but I will get through quite a large chunk of it. And what I don't melt this month, I will carry it over to September. Um, and if I by September, if I haven't used a summer type fragrance, I will put it away till next year. But as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.